Good morning everyone and thank you for joining me once again on my YouTube and Rumble channels. Today is February the 1st of 2024 and I'd like to bring another prophetic word to you today. For those of you who are new to this channel, if you enjoy the content of this video, please take a minute to subscribe and to click the notification bell for notification of further videos. As you know, this channel is devoted to sharing prophetic word that I have received from the Lord. The mode in which I receive these words from the Lord is as I journal, as I sit with the Lord, sometimes with questions on my mind, and wait for Him to respond. We know the Lord is always wanting to speak to His people, to share His heart with us. And so as I take this time, this one-on-one -on -one time with Him, as I make a time for Him in this way, He is always faithful to release those things that are on His heart. And in saying that, I would like to make it clear that these words are just as I receive them from the Lord. And as I have mentioned in past videos, they are as letters and messages from the Lord. The heart of God is to encourage His people. And so with these messages, you will notice God is encouraging us. Though at times these words are very serious and sober, and He is expecting our response when He wants to correct or counsel us. His heart is to bless us and encourage us. And so I hope this word today will encourage all of you who are listening. Just a short note that I am not at home recording these videos as I shared in my last video. This is temporary. And with being in a different location, which by the way, for those of you who may be interested, is in Costa Rica. My husband and I are on holiday for a few weeks here. And though I have my recording equipment with me, I am having trouble posting to Rumble. So my hope is to post these words on the Rumble channel when I get back home. So getting back to the word and the message the Lord has for us today, you will notice this is a continuation of what the Lord has been speaking about in the last few messages. He is speaking about the authority He has given us and that He plans and intends to give us even further in this time that we live in as we press into Him for all that He has for us. In this word today, the Lord is not only encouraging us to use our callings and giftings and the authority He has given us, but He is telling us this is not a difficult task for us, that He is equipping us and sending us and that we can have joy in functioning in all that He's called us to. This word today is titled, Joy in Serving the Lord. I hope you will be blessed by it. I'll begin by reading scripture. Galatians 5 verse 22. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness. This scripture verse is telling us that the Lord is giving us all these things. He's giving us His love and peace and joy. Psalm 100 verse 4 Enter His gates with thanksgiving and His courts with praise. Give thanks to Him and praise His name. 
in this verse of scripture, the Lord is encouraging us in our attitude of thanksgiving toward him. Matthew 11 verses 29 through 30. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. In this scripture passage, the Lord is encouraging us that following him would not be a difficult task. He's telling us his burden is light. I'll begin reading this word. I will lead you on, says the Lord. I will take you on into areas of authority that will be used to take down strongholds over the assembly. I will move you out in power and love. I will take you into the chambers of the Lord, into the Holy of Holies, into the place of intimacy with the Lord. I will take you in and I will give you the desires of your heart in this place. All authority in heaven and earth belong to me and in the place of intimacy my authority is released unto you and you shall go on in great authority. You shall take possession of the land and reign and rule in righteousness. I will adorn you with jewels, stones of great worth, pearls of treasure. You will be able to demonstrate my love to the people. It will pour out of you to encompass those you minister to. I will put you in this position of authority, says the Lord. It is not a position ordained of man, but it is ordained of me. In this place, you will move and function in full capacity of the giftings of God, and no one will be able to hinder you or trip you up. Your giftings will increase, and they will take you into the positions of authority I have ordained for you, says the Lord. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Give, and it shall be given unto you. Enter into the work of the Lord with joy and thanksgiving. Every door that has been closed will be open to you if you do not lose hope. Everywhere your feet step, you will take the land. I am moving forth in power and might in this day to take down the strongholds over the lives of my people. I am pulling down every high and lofty thing and I am refining those who are mine into precious jewels and instruments in my hands. Do not lose sight of the goal I have laid out before you. Do not be discouraged. Do not feel that you are disqualified when things get tough. Do not put your trust in the arm of the flesh. Everything I want to accomplish through you is by my spirit, says the Lord. Do not take on a yoke that is not of me. My yoke is easy and my burden is light. Find joy in serving me. So as we can see in this word today, the Lord is once again addressing the fact that he has given us his authority and that he wants to position us in that authority to take possession of the land he is giving us to reign and rule with him. And he is telling us it will not be a difficult thing. It is not something we have to struggle with because he will pour out upon us everything that we need, all of it working through love. The Lord is encouraging us to serve him 
and to do it joyfully and with thanksgiving. He is encouraging us not to be discouraged and not to feel that we are disqualified even when things get tough. He is telling us not to put our trust in the arm of the flesh because everything he wants to accomplish through us, he is going to do it by the power of his spirit. In this word today, the Lord is encouraging us that he has not given us a heavy burden when it comes to following him and to functioning in the calling and giftings he has given us. He is telling us that his yoke is easy and his burden is light. I hope this word today will encourage each one of you that if you are struggling, if you are feeling it's too difficult to do these things the Lord is calling me to, be encouraged and reminded by this word that the Lord does not want us struggling and being burdened. He wants to give us joy in this calling. The Lord wants to give us the desires of our hearts. As we spend time with him in intimacy, he will equip us, increase our abilities and giftings, continue to release his authority to us so that we can walk in his power and his love. Be blessed on this day. Thank you for listening, and I look forward to seeing you again in the next video. Have a great day. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.